That's him. <laughs> A British man's become a national celebrity in China Seriously. after singing traditional <laughs> communist revolutionary. <laughs> that is literally the first thing that came up. <laughs> Very often, sorry, Chinese state media and Chinese officials and anyone who's a Chinese propagandist or shill will post these kind of images. And it's kind of a set format. They always have China and USA. Yes. And like, okay, let's take a look at this. On the one side, it says China, among the safest countries in the world, 0.5% homicide rate per 100,000 people in 2021. You can explain in a minute. USA, very high crime and gun explosion danger. Okay, first of all, gun explosion. Oh, crap. Better, hey, oh, my gun explodes. Yeah, you probably should main, maintain that thing. Okay? Probably don't buy a Chinese gun. Yeah, exactly. But there's a gun explosion <laughs> danger. 7.8% homicide rate per 100,000 people in 2020. Now, just to preface this, the person who shared this is an, is an American English-speaking shill, okay? okay. White uh, guy. CCP shill. Yeah, white guy. And he shared this gun explosion danger garbage. So it's obviously just a mandate. You have to share it. Because yeah. if you were like an English-speaking shill, you would at least be able to correct the bad grammar. Because he's an employee of state media. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, and he said the, the number one reason I've heard more than 100 interviews, uh, I've yeah, heard more than 100 interviews for uh, preferring life in China, it's far safer than the West. One is about 16 times, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and he posts this thing. Now, um, can you talk about the sources and can you also talk about the, the, the big errors here? So a white guy from uh -huh. America yeah. is employed by the Chinese government state media apparatus, right? Uh -huh. Is sharing these mandate, basically propaganda things. Yes. Which... <clears throat> are almost always completely disingenuous in 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 on the nose lies. Yes. Just straight lies, right? Yeah, yeah. So if we look at this, right? The USA has a 7.8% homicide rate per 100,000 people. I'm in gonna talk, I'm going to talk about that math for a second. First, let's look okay. at the first piece of dis disingenuousness. Right. The source of the China data is the Ministry of Public Security of the People's Republic of China. So they're, what's their source? The, their source is literally... My source is that I made it the f*** for those, up. It's the government. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, okay, yeah. it's opaque as hell. The Chinese yes. government decides what the statistics yes. are going to be. Yeah. And you cannot believe them because even they themselves have admitted that they falsify GDP numbers. Yes. If anyone believes that during the entire COVID outbreak, they only had 4,000 deaths yes. in a 1.4 billion yes. population where crematoriums were running day and night, 24 yes. seven, and everyone was dying. Come on, like they make up whatever stats they want. And yes. that's the source. The thing is- What's the source of the uh, USA one? The World Bank database. Ah, so a non-partial source that everyone An international can use. organization. Here's the thing. America has such a thing as a Freedom of Information Act. You yes. can get real statistics. Yes. You can have independent bodies like the World Bank database. Correct. They can come in and they can investigate and yep. see for themselves. They, they can say, them. they can say, okay, show us the death certificate, show us the yeah. this, show us the that, and they're allowed to do it because it's transparent. China and yeah, of course, you, you know, you can argue that there'd be corruption here and there or whatever, but it doesn't matter. You can independently try and verify yes. something. In China, you can't. No. So that's the first error: is the sources. What's the second? The most problem? important error yeah. is if you go to the next slide here. Okay. Well, the yeah. most important error of this is the sheer lie and inaccuracy of this. So let me see this. So you're saying Flat Cat McDonald's, uh, yeah. Mr. CG, is he a CGT unemployee? Uh, yes. Uh, my but... my fellow American, you're in deep trouble here. Right? <laughs> and I'll tell you why. You put this out on behalf of the Chinese government. You put mm -hmm. out false information, which, again, it's your freedom of speech right to do sure. so, right? But you're in big trouble with the credibility of your audience because that would mean that 7,800 people out of 100,000 get murdered in a homicide in 2020. In, 20, in 2020 in America. I think what you meant to say, or Chinese government that told you to post this, is that there are 7.8 homicides for every 100,000 people. It's a people. big difference. Not 7,800. Yeah, not 7,800, 7.8. You were wrong by mm -hmm. a factor of 1,000 times. 1,000 <laughs> times. Yeah. You were wrong. So the stats are wrong. The sources are rubbish. Yes. 
And I like how they put a picture of like a dancing IEs and then a picture of like a sad family that's obviously just gone through a tragedy. Yes. It's so gross what they do, isn't it? Yes, it's it so freaking gross because it's very easy to do the same back to China. But because the West has proper diplomacy, we don't do that. Oh. I could make that graph. And I could show some horrible scene in China and a happy family, like, you know, and just multiply like from a brochure right. or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just anyway. Multiply it by a thousand. It's yeah. literally wrong. Yeah, it is. So it's... you didn't use the same source for both things. Yes. And it's wrong by yes. a thousand times. By a thousand times. Okay. Anyway, so we were thinking Flat Cap McDonald's is a great example of slopaganda. Yeah, it this is. This particular guy. So let's take a look. And now we're going to introduce you to Flat Cap McDonald's. Let's take a look. On this floor, they have one of those. Miniature McDonald's where they serve ice cream and stuff. Please tell me this is going to be a segment. <laughs> yes, yeah, I think it will be. So um, how this works is Chinese state media for the longest time has realized that it's very important to distance itself from the shills. Yeah. Okay. And shills, for those of you who don't know, are people that basically on behalf of the Chinese government do propaganda. Yeah. Okay. And they find out that... If you've got a white guy on YouTube or other social media saying positive things about China, <clears throat> it gives more credibility yeah. than the Chinese government doing it. Because we all know the Chinese government's going to just, you know, lie and say what's, uh, yeah. what's convenient for them. So <clears throat> what they've done is they've started to create these independent podcasts. Ah. Okay. So kind of, you know, like we have an actual independent podcast. Correct. What we do here, we make up all our stuff. We talk about all our stuff. It's yeah. like, it's, a, it's just us. What they do is they've gotten, and there's a slew of them. There's lots of them. Okay. There's, there's probably 20 out of these like podcasts that are supposed to, po supposedly just a white guy living in China decides he's going to start a podcast. Ah, so you organic. Know? Yeah. It's very organic. It's like, I'm going to make a podcast and I'm going to, I'm going to combat all these these rumors. People say China's, you know, bad, but it's not true. Like, I live right. here. I can there's tell no you the genocide. truth. There's no genocide. Yeah, there's no yeah. genocide in Xinjiang. You know, it's completely safe over here. America is bad. China's good. That's yeah. always how it goes down, yeah. right? And then it talks about poverty alleviation. Yeah. It talks about all the government programs. They get flown around. They yeah. do all this stuff. But the important thing is that they pretend to be independent, but they're not. Yes. They're well, state Media well, there's, linked. There's, there's a reason. The Chinese government wants them to appear independent so that it's yes. not Chinese propaganda. Yes. Right. But what you're showing right here is very interesting. Yeah, because, okay, I'm going to set this up. What you're seeing here is a live stream okay. that was, you know, one of these podcasts. But you see a little bit behind the scenes here. This is vanilla. Remember, this is vanilla face. <laughs> this is, no, this, this is, is Flat, Flat Cat McDonald's. McDonald's. Flat Cat McDonald's here, and there's like uh, Beer Pet Bike Boy over okay. there. Okay. Talk about him at another time. Okay. okay. It's not, he's not the focus today. So these are two guys who do a lot of promotion for CC, uh, sorry, for Chinese state media. Mm -hmm. Okay. This it's, is Chinese state media. This is, yeah. but it's supposed to be an independent podcast. Uh, okay. This uh, is the whole point. So both of these guys, you see them on uh, Chinese state media a lot, and they do propaganda for China. Okay. Now, this independent podcast, which Flat Cap McDonald's supposedly runs. Missing his cap. Yeah. Yeah. He took it off to, for some reason. Um, this is, they started the live stream, but they didn't know they were live. So we get to see a little bit about what's, it's still up on his channel for whatever reason. Why? I don't know, but we get to see. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. Okay. Remember, it's supposed to be an independent podcast. Be careful. Don't spit on each other. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> yeah. You look great okay. on camera. Yeah, I can't tell. Only so they don't know they're live. No. Uh, I would prefer if you started over. Start over what? Can you turn the live stream off and then start a second one? It's, it's, this is the second one. Oh, okay. Thank you. I need to find the live. I don't see it. Where? It's on live now. I know, but I, don't, I need to send the link to my, my channel. Wow. He's so mean. You know what's funny? As yeah. I noticed this, the yeah. people that I've seen that work for state Chinese state media or the most shill people like CCP shill, yeah. they usually don't speak Chinese. Yes. They're usually some random white guy from the West. And they're always so rude to the Chinese employees. Very they're condescending. so rude. Very condescending. It's funny. The more you support, it seems like there's a correlation. The more you support the Chinese government, the more rude and mean and racist you are to Chinese people in well, China. You know what it is, right? It's it's That's the attitude in China. If you yeah. were in a position of power, if you're a Communist Party member or you're influential, you treat people like dirt. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yes. That's just normal. Yeah. 
And so they're adopting that because they right. feel like, oh, now we're we're important. They now. act like the communists. Yeah, they act like the, the communist the officials. Yeah. yeah. Now, a couple of things to point out here. First of all, you can tell that they have a Chinese team. Yes. Setting up the live stream for them. Yeah. You can see up in the corner here a China Daily uh, newspaper wrapped in a freaking bow for whatever reason. Oh, but this is just a, a non-affiliated podcast. Yeah, remember this is, but. The fact that he's so freaking rude. I to can me. actually identify one of the female voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know who it is. She's a state employee. Yeah, state employee. So, I mean, you've got a team there setting them up, getting them ready for their independent podcast. And they're obviously, you know, it's I love Chinese that state media. Still up. Yeah, why did they not take it down? <laughs> it's just, yeah. a, just dead so, air. There's a couple more things that are interesting here. Let's just play it out for a bit here. So, I'm looking. You have this link. You give me what you need. You have this link. In the space balls, the moon, they start watching space balls the movie to find out where the, the good guys went. The bad guys are watching space balls the movie in the movie so that they can find them. Okay. Good They're the bad guys. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. At least you know you're the bad guy. Another thing that's interesting to point out is see how they're setting up multiple cameras? Yeah. Because this is obviously going to be filmed for state media as uh, well. Okay? Oh, but it's just an independent And, and it podcast. was. Like, you actually see snippets of this interview on state media as well. It so, looks like it's it's pretty pretty yeah. I think this is it. How do I get the link? Let's see. Why is this up? I'm just share that. Okay, I'm just going to share the channel. Because this is too hard. This is the app. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to use it. I don't know. Okay, send to the group. Great production. Mm. Amazing. Oh, okay, thank you. Start. Recording. Yeah, go ahead, please. You guys can start everything. I just need to get this sent. So, so this cam, not this cam is not recording. Is this cam recording? This, this, can it be closer? Let's see. 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 Watch the shills in their native habitat. <laughs> it's like a nature documentary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Watch the white pebbles. Okay, now this is something oh. we picked up. So, Bike Boys is like, are you in Kansas, Toto? Now, there's a reason. Like, I was like, what yes. on earth are they talking about? Listen to what he says. Yeah, I like to be in Kansas. I don't know why. It makes me feel very American. Yeah, I'm usually in Sydney. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's a bit overblown. Um, what they're talking about here is they're talking about VPN servers. Uh. So the reason his phone's not working properly or connected to the live stream is his VPN is failing. Now, yes. when you have a VPN software on your phone, you get to choose which server you're connecting to. Yeah. Okay? And so he chose Kansas as his server. Yeah. And that's why the other guy was like, oh, we're in Kansas, totally. He's like, yeah, it makes me feel American or whatever. And the other guy's so like, So yeah. what you're saying is to do state media propaganda, yeah. they have to go on a VPN so that they can go on live stream to YouTube for their propaganda to the outside world. Yes. And then they filmed that and left it up. Yes. On their channel. So they left up the fact that they're part of a, they've got a crew. Yeah. A Chinese crew setting them up. They left up that they're incredibly, at least Flat Cap McDonald's is very rude very and condescending rude to, the Chinese staff. to the Chinese staff. And then they left up the fact that they have to use VPNs to do their stupid oh, propaganda. Oh, that hurts. Isn't lame? Yeah. It's just, let's see if it goes anywhere else. <laughs> Too loud. The thing is, I can live stream some of the Australian ABC and uh, SBS. SBS is quite good. Good for you. He said he has to use a VPN. To, yeah, he has like, to use a VPN to, to still watch his to Australian watch his stuff. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, but I don't, I need to send the link to my my channel. Uh, I would prefer if you started over. Start over. So rude. Can you turn the live stream off, and then start a second one. It's it's this is second. You started over. So this dude. Yeah. 
So here's here's the thing. This is their thing. It's called the Bridge Podcast. Yeah. And as you can see, it just looks like another, you know, thing on YouTube, uh. another podcast. And it's like, hey, just a white guy living in China. And I'm going to tell you the truth about, you know, let's build bridges. By the way, USA bad, China good. Yeah. But. I'm noticing something missing, though. There is no state media label. YouTube's supposed to put a state media label <clears throat> on foreign-run, like, government yes. projects. Now, here's the thing. It didn't take very long to search and find out that the Bridge podcast actually belongs to CGTN, which is China's state so media. So, guys, can stop. Uh, YouTube, please put a label on mm. the Bridge podcast because it's literally on CGTN's website, state yeah. media. It says the Bridge podcast. Shows and podcasts, CGTN. Yes, that belong to CGTN. So this is not an independent podcast. So this is state media propaganda. Yes. And this is how China gets away with it, with their influence operations, yes. is they simply get these these very annoying white dudes, you know, in China to pretend to be independent on YouTube. They set them up. They help them with their studio. They actually run the whole thing for them. You know, they give them the topics to cover. It's yeah. all state media. Yes. And then it looks like a, an independent podcast, but this it's is, not. This is actually what I would call it. This is what I would call it. What? You know, a bridge goes over like a pit. I'd call it the pit slop cast. <laughs> <laughs> that's this, okay. Yeah. That's what this would be called. Absolutely. Uh, you two, please give it a label. Yeah, that's, go that's give it. That's your job. That's what you got to do. All the state media nonsense the needs a label. Yeah. It's, it's, if it's state media, you give it a label. It We've, says, this yeah. is funded in part by the Chinese government or wholly by the Chinese yeah. government. Please put it on there. It absolutely is necessary. So the reason uh, this was in the slopaganda segment is, of course, because it once again uh, just proves how they very sloppy when it comes to their propaganda but that segment you put together the mcdonald's thing is very funny i think it's i think it's very self-explanatory yeah. the next thing is though there's another podcast this time okay we're going to leave this one as a secret we don't want to advertise this next podcast because oh, we're going to a new one yeah it's a new one that's just started okay and it's something that we're going to it's going to be recurring okay can i say one thing sure we noticed it because one of their first videos is a whole video of them reading a script mm -hmm. about why they're not paid by the CCP yes. to do what they do. It's the most unbelievably on the nose, obvious thing. Like there's something going on where something in the Chinese government mm -hmm. is feeling threatened that they're gonna be, you know, their employees or whatever, people that shill for them or whatever, are gonna get painted with some sort yeah. of brush that they're like shilling for them officially. So it's yeah. like why we are not paid by the CCP so, in a yeah. podcast. Well, how about we let them explain it? Let's yeah. take a look. So this new podcast that's come up, the the main host is a British guy. I, I didn't know about this. A very good morning, afternoon, or evening to you, wherever you might be, and a warm welcome. My name is Ian Ingalls, and I shall be your host. I'm joined, as usual, by my two fellow China expat experts. Good evening, gents. Just for a bit of context, the three of us have all been living here in China for many... Now, the reason why I've obscured the faces of these two guys is because... It'll be their turn next time. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought we'd break this down one by one. I do want to spoil one thing. What? The two expat experts who have been living in China for decades don't speak Chinese. So and, how are they experts? And you may have just seen this guy. Well, <laughs> yeah. Because he's also on every other state media. <laughs> this is so sad. It's so incestuous, it's this stuff. so incestuous. Yeah. Anyway, so um, the, the whole point of this video they put out is like, are we Wu Mao? Are we shills? Are we paid by the Chinese government? That's like, the whole thing so behind us. So on the nose, Yeah, guys. so let's take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> Three decades and have had many different experiences of both life and work in different parts of the country, Script which is point. something that many representatives uh -huh. of Western mainstream media cannot claim to have had. So this week, gents, I'd like to change tack somewhat and address uh, a couple of questions that the likes of us three are asked or perhaps accused of ad infinitum. Living that? in China for such a long time and voicing What's what some might interpret yes. as pro-China opinions, it is often suggested that we must be associated with, say, the Chinese government, that we can only be stooges for the authorities or on the payroll of the Communist Party of China. Otherwise, why would we bother to have these discussions? Obviously, the motivation of wanting to present an accurate or at least not a false or misleading picture of China to the world based on our own personal experiences is seldom entertained. There has to be a more sinister motivation or indeed one driven by money. OK, so that's like so, never never mind his his vocabulary he's obviously 
you know, trying his best to I, no, sound I'm just, smart. It's like, sounds like <laughs> chat GPT wrote a script, but it's yeah. also like, why are we guilty of this thing sure. that nobody necessarily accuses us of? Who are you? Yeah. Who are you, dude? Anyway, I thought, you know, because this popped up while I was searching for uh, Chinese propaganda, yeah. it popped up. And I was like, okay, benefit of the doubt. This guy seems fairly reasonable, even though he's very verbose in his ad infinitum Del and all the Delora sources. says he admitted the quiet part out loud. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> so okay, here's the part, the thing I was thinking. I was thinking, mm -hmm. all right, mate, <clears throat> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, sure. okay? You might just be... A normal, because remember, this is a new podcast that's just come out. Another yes, one of these one of the first episodes, independent why podcasts. Why we yeah. aren't CCP yeah, exactly. employees. So I'm like, okay, mate. All right. Perhaps you are just um, a normal everyday foreigner who lives sure. in, in China and you just want to share your experiences. So I'm like, okay. um, let's let's Google him. Let's look him up. Okay. So Google his name. Guess what popped up first? What? I'm going to show you. Okay. Just, so he's not, you, you no. can't make this up. Remember, okay. this guy's like, oh, we're not by any means or way like connected right. to the Chinese government. No, right. no. Well, let's see what happens when you Google this guy's name. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> A British man's become a national celebrity in China Seriously. after singing traditional <laughs> communist revolutionary. <laughs> that is literally the first thing that came up. <laughs> you cannot make that no. up. No, these people are so transparent. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not a shill. Comes no. out in full red guard garb. Yes, yes. Singing communist PLA songs. PLA garb. Yeah. Singing Mao songs in front of a red star in China yes. for money. Yes. I know. Isn't it just ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> yeah. For those of you, <laughs> for those of you who think that it's not the same guy, wait, wait. It it absolutely is. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Songs on China's Got Talent. Ian Inglis, who's originally Inglis. from Cardiff. Pro-China opinions. It is often suggested that we <laughs> must be associated with, say, the Chinese government. Dude, he's singing about Mao Zushi. Yes. Chairman Mao is great and all this stuff. That's what he's singing, holding a little red book. Oh, my God. Gosh, you just can't make this no, up. No, you can't. You can't. The first Google, this is the first Google this search. This is the first thing that came up. Because you were like, you yeah. probably like, were like, I want to see if he works for Yeah, just uh, giving, him, giving him the benefit yeah. of the, the doubt. Right. Like, oh, he's just a normal foreigner. Search his name. He's, this is him. This is him. I'm sorry, but him coming out in yeah. like, <laughs> I, and he's so skinny. Like, yeah. it's like, it doesn't fit properly. He comes out in that Mao garb. <laughs> And just starts blasting CCP music after yes. insinuating that he has nothing to yeah, do with Yeah, I know. CCP. It's, just, it's ridiculous. just incredible. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. It made my week. And he's a <laughs> presenter for state media. Yeah, he is. Yeah. A hard find. Nope. <laughs> Despite now earning around £5,000 a show, Ian says he plans to leave the singing behind and open a language school in the tropical city of Sanya, where he now lives. <laughs> Five thousand pounds a show. That's yeah. good. That's good money. Yeah, we're in the wrong game. From China yes. opinions. It is often suggested that we must be associated with, say, the Chinese government. <laughs> yeah, I I would wow, say in this what an case, intro to that guy. yeah, in this case, yes, you are associated with the Chinese government, and not not even from that. From no. literally, you're a presenter for the state media. Yeah, he's a presenter for state media. He got famous in China for singing communist songs. Hmm. All right, it's come on, guys. At least you choose know, you someone who's wild, believable. Though? You know what's wild about this? What in this interview or this interview that they do with each other about like we are not working for the Chinese government? It's so like such a bad idea, and I think it wasn't even their idea. Yeah, I think <clears throat> someone told them because this is probably one of those state podcast things, right? Yeah, it is. I think someone sure. told them to 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 cover this topic yeah. and probably got chat GPT to write scripts for them. I'm not even joking. Mm, it's possible. It sounds like it. Mm -hmm. If that's not the case, let's say they wrote their own script. The fact that an inner three-way interview is scripted is super weird. Yeah. And number two, it's so ridiculous 
to try and say that you are not something that you quite clearly are because later in the interview, and we'll show this at some point, yeah. one of the people who is such a Chinese government mouthpiece, he is on a plethora of Chinese Chinese government media yeah. and not just getting interviewed himself for being a foreigner, oh, I'm a yeah, white yeah. guy that lives in China, writing articles for state media, yes. for the propaganda department mm -hmm. with his name. Yeah. And then he goes to say that he's not. Yeah. You know, so there's something weird going on here. Well, I don't know what they're trying to, to cover up here. It's uh, maybe, a bit weird. maybe that this is an exercise in hypocrisy or irony or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird. Yeah. It's three <clears throat> weird people to pick to say we're not affiliated with the Communist Party of China because they're like the mo some of the most prolific mouthpieces yes. of them. So anyway, uh, this this I would classify again as mm. slopaganda once more. Yeah. You know, uh, these these independent podcasts that are cropping up all over YouTube from, you know, white guys in China, 100% so far of them, 100% are linked to Chinese media or the presenters are Chinese state media yeah. um, employees or connected somehow. You know what I mean? And there's the proof right there. The guy can say all he wants, but you cannot deny the connection between this guy. <laughs> very funny. And uh, yeah, very, yeah, the Communist very, Party very nonsense. Very funny. I love that yeah. you found that. It, it really made my week. <laughs> I love the continued, the continued slip. <laughs> <laughs> <Please. laughs> Human death spiral. Oh no, it's true. <laughs> you gotta be pretty drunk for this to happen, by the way. Yes. He's <laughs> trying to zoom in. <laughs> He's trying to chug it, but it just went full on. He's like, wake up. He falls back to sleep. Then he wakes up. Then he falls back to sleep. Then he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> he just That's ate a tissue. <laughs>